Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a detailed look at the genetic origins of the Old Kingdom Egyptian sample from the Neurat site utilizing Davidsky's Global 25 calculator. Previously, I took a look at the study which featured this sample, but unfortunately that study has now been taken down and placed under an embargo until 2026. For those of you who were unable to take a look at the study before it was placed under an embargo, I have attached that video to the top right here. Now before I begin with this analysis, I just like to say that this is an open refutation to the late Mr. Imhotep and his delusional supporters. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Imhotep was a liar and a deceiver who claimed that the ancient Egyptians were primarily of sub-Saharan African genetic origins. In fact, he did not only claim that the ancient Egyptians were sub-Saharan Africans, but he also claimed that many other ancient civilizations were also founded by sub-Saharan Africans. I wanted to add that Mr. Imhotep contracted septicemia while he was in Vietnam in September 2024 and this was the cause of his death. Here is the official and rather nonsensical obituary for Mr. Imhotep's death and I won't read this but you can pause the screen and read it yourself and understand how delusional his followers must really have been. Now to begin the analysis, the study featuring the Neurat sample was titled Reconstructing Past Human Genetic Variation with Ancient DNA Case Studies from Ancient Egypt and Medieval Europe. This study was submitted as a PhD thesis by Adeline Morez and she is studying at the University of Liverpool. While I've already covered the details of the study in my previous video on the matter, here is the map where you can see that Neurad is located in central Egypt and it was one of the most prominent burial grounds for the Old Kingdom elites. Thus, the Neurad site is integral to understanding the genetic makeup of the earliest elites of Egyptian history. Now before I proceed, I just like to say that recently the raw data for this sample was made available online and a couple of my good friends worked very hard to have it converted to coordinates and these were Balka Gloop and T Peen. And here's the post on Discord by Balka Gloop on the matter and you can see that this is a new elite Old Kingdom sample from the time of the Giza pyramids and this is very interesting. What's more is that this sample had very high genetic coverage at 87.67%. Now to begin the genetic analysis utilizing Davidsky's Global 25 calculator, you can see that in terms of the distances, the Neurat sample is very close to other Middle Eastern populations and not to Europeans or Sub-Saharan Africans, which is quite interesting and remarkable. While the distances are a bit high here, you have to keep in mind that this is a very ancient sample and it's going to be difficult to find a population which matches it perfectly but nonetheless these are the closest and I included all other populations as well including Europeans and Sub-Saharan Africans but they do not even make the list here. In fact, the only samples from Europe shown here are those that are from the Middle East or that are from North Africa and were migrants to Europe. Thus, what this means is that ancient Europeans were not very close to the ancient Egyptians genetically. And here are the distances for the Neurat sample in comparison to modern populations. And you can see that the closest are the Egyptian Copts from Sudan, followed by the Tunisian Arabs from Rabia, and then the Egyptian Copts. And after them, you just have many Arab populations from Saudi Arabia, as well as from Yemen, and also Bedouin populations from across the Middle East including from Yemen as well as from Kuwait and you can also see that the Yemeni Jews make the list as well. For this distance chart I included all modern day populations and once again you can see that there are no Europeans or Sub-Saharan Africans on the chart and this suggests that these populations were very distinct from the ancient Egyptians who are largely a Middle Eastern population genetically. Here are the source populations I will utilize to assess the autosomal ancestry of the ancient Neurat sample. I will not be explaining each of these components in detail, but if there is one component that you want to learn more about, you can comment and I will comment with a very detailed reply on the matter. According to the Global 25 autosomal results, the Neurat sample is 
41.4%, Israel Natufian, which is a very old Levantine component, 24.8%, Jordan Neolithic, which is a more recent, still very old, but after the Natufian ancestral component, and this is also Levantine, 21.2%, Iraq Neolithic, 9.0%, Ibero Merujian, 2.8%, Ethiopia, and this is purely a sub Saharan African source. And then you can also see minor East Asian ancestry at 0.6% and a bit of South Asian ancestry at 0.2%. Overall, what's evident from this autosomal breakdown is that the Neurat sample and hence the Old Kingdom elites were primarily of Middle Eastern descent and had very little non-Middle Eastern ancestry and were neither Europeans nor Sub-Saharan Africans. It is also worth mentioning that the relatively high amount of Mesopotamia Neolithic ancestry lends credence to the dynastic race theory which stated that the ancient Egyptians were primarily a race that was mixed between Mesopotamians and indigenous Egyptian populations which led to the formation of the Old Kingdom in Egypt's history and influenced later periods as well. Thus, the formation of the ancient Egyptian population during the Old Kingdom was one of coalescing between native Nile populations as well as incoming Mesopotamians. To conclude, this video took a look at the genetic origins of the Neurat sample which is from a Old Kingdom elite burial and what was proven is that the ancient Egyptians from the Old Kingdom, particularly those responsible for the construction of the Great Pyramids, were not Sub-Saharan Africans and they were not Europeans but rather they were primarily of Middle Eastern genetic stock. Thus, the ancient Egyptians were indeed a Middle Eastern race. And these results also review the claims made by the late Mr. Imhotep that the ancient Egyptians were primarily sub-Saharan or black Africans. It is also rather unfortunate that because Mr. Imhotep is dead, he will not know the truth about ancient Egyptian genetics and their true origins. That is essentially it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.